you ask me, I'm going to answer some of them now. We're in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to take out a person. So one uses the clone tool, which is the clone stamp tool, which is this one. And you choose a size of brush like you normally do. Always a soft edge, no hardness. You hold down the option key. You click once on the brick wall, click with the left side of the mouse. You take your finger off the left side of the mouse. Now you press it down. Can you see the X on the right hand side? That's what I'm cloning each time. So you have to do it carefully. But you may want to take a different bit. I'm going to hold down the option key. I'm going to click the left side of the mouse. I'm going to take my finger off it. Now I'm going to move, see? So eventually I can get a bit from here maybe, but always look at that X. And literally I'm covering up the man, but I'm clicking here. And so it takes a bit of time, takes a bit of skill, but it's the clone stamp tool. That was number one, what you asked me. Number two, file open. I'm going to bring in similar picture that we had the other day. You spoke about uh, putting a picture of a person on another picture. You use one of the selection tools. I'm using a lasso tool for speed. Uh, I'm going to put this lady on the picture that we just had. But again, you do a better job by click, click, clicking around with the polygonal lasso tool. But I'm just doing it in one go to show you. So simple as this. Command C is copy, but if you go to window layers, you need to see your layer palette. Now I'm going to go on the shot behind it. Can you see one shot, two shot? And now I'm going to do control V. And can you see the layer? I could click on this eye and not see it or click on the eye and see it. I can move that layer using that tool on the top left. I can even rub out a bit that I don't want with an eraser. And again, I'd make it a little bit smaller and I can just rub out bits of it that I don't want. There it is, see? My rubber's a little bit big. I can rub out, see? And it shows what's behind it. Made a bit of a mess of that. There she is, rubbed her face out a bit. Uh, I could also go to edit, uh, transform. I can scale it, I can rotate it, I can skew it, I can warp it. I could uh, free transform. I could flip it ho horizontally. I could edit, transform and I can scale it and I can put it where I want, but I have to hit the enter button and then it finishes, but I can still move it. Okay, that was the second question you asked me. Um, then the third question was, how do you move something on a picture? Um, so I could cut out this face. Again, I'm just doing it for speed. Control C or Command C, Command V. Note the other layer come up. I can move it. I could uh, edit, transform. I can uh, flip it horizontally. I could fit it on there. Maybe I use an eraser to rub out part of the layer. And there she is. A few more adjustments just to get it just right. But you have to be on the right layer. If you're on that layer, nothing moves. But if I'm on the layer of the face, I can move the face where I want to.
Okay, there you go, Chloe. Hope you enjoy working on it. Bye-bye.